Hello everyone, Roger Wolford here. In this video I'll be carving a business name and a logo into this axe. Alright, so let me share the uh, story behind my axe carving and engraving here. Um, there's a uh, couple guys and they have three businesses in my area and um, well I really like all three of their businesses because it revolves around three things that I very much like uh, to do out, out, other than carving that is and that is craft beer, live music, and smoked meat so <laughs> that's uh, yeah so I like being around these guys. I've been like being around their businesses because I really like what they do. So also, when you go into these guys' businesses, you can really tell that, uh, man, they, they, they're really trying hard and they, they really uh, appreciate um, just handmade craftsmanship type stuff. So, I mean, everything from what's hanging on the walls to the nice signage that they have, uh, the tables and chairs, and uh, I mean they're really doing it upright so I've been kinda wanting to get involved with these guys for a while and try to find a way to uh, you know work my carvings and engravings in and, and see if I can uh, you know kinda work what I do into what they do and uh, so I was at one of the concerts a few weeks ago and one of the owners come up to me and he said hey he'd been you know we kinda known each other in the past but he said he'd been checking out my stuff on Facebook and he was kind of impressed with what I do and he really thought that we could do business together in the future and uh, of course I was excited because you know that's exactly what I've been hoping for and uh, so I kind of went home that night and I you know was thinking about what I could do to you know kind of showcase my work and show them what I can do and somehow show them how I can fit in there and um, so I was studying one of the logos from one of their businesses. That's the uh, the craft barbecue place, the smoked meats. So here's their logo. That's slow hand barbecue, craft barbecue, and you can see it's got this log, this axe sticking out of it. And I don't know if you can see very well in here, but there's a little SH brand on the on that axe. So I was kind of looking this over, and I was like, hey. It's like I got an old axe laying around somewhere, so I went out the garage, and sure enough, there was an old axe there, and I hadn't used it for years, and it was all dirty and nasty and rusty, and so I took out that axe, and uh, I cleaned it up, and um, here it is. So I uh, I sanded down the hickory handle with some 220 just to take off some of the rough spots and splinters and stuff, and I wire brushed the head. To knock off some of the surface rust um, and then I sealed the whole thing with a uh, semi-gloss clear uh, this is an enamel and uh, just to protect it and, and shine it up a little bit and make it look nice so as you can see I carved that SH right here on this axe head just exactly like their logo right so uh, it's like a cattle brand you know slow hand sh so it's on both sides right so as you can see that that when i engraved this into this old rusty axe head i'm engraving down through that rust and into the new metal and it makes it real shiny and brilliant and uh, it's really good contrast so it looks pretty sharp on that and then right here on the handle you know it says slow hand craft barbecue in the same font as their logo so yeah, and that's on both sides also. So anyways, so I carved and engraved this up. You know, it didn't take me that long to do it and put it all together. And and so I went and I showed it to the owner of Slow Hand, one of the owners that is, and he loved it. And he was impressed. And you know, I did that for free just to kind of showcase myself and my talents. And he's like, hey, well, you do me another one, and this time I'll pay you. And I'm like, okay, sure. So I had to go out and find another axe. And it took me a little bit, but I did. So I got lucky. 
a friend of mine, her dad has an axe laying around in his barn that wasn't doing anything either. So he's nice enough to uh, give that axe to me. And same thing, I had to knock off a little surface rust on the head. I hit the handle here, the 220, and I sealed it all with the clear semi-gloss enamel. So now this axe is ready to be carved and engraved, same as the other axe. Okay, so the first thing I did uh, to start this project is I went in and I made some stencils for my carvings and engravings. So um, this is, I, I cropped this out on the computer and I blew this up to a size that will fit on my handle, my hickory handle. And of course you notice there's two here, one for each side of the handle, right? So this is just normal printer paper, you know, nothing special. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all this out and um, and I'm going to spray the back of it with easy tack repositional cryon adhesive spray. So please notice this is repositional adhesive spray. You don't want permanent. So if you go out and buy this, you can buy it at most of your craft stores, um, Hobby Lobby, Ben Franklin, places like that. Or you can get it on Amazon. Um, it's about the only places I know that carry it. But uh, so yeah, make sure you get repositional because you, you you're going to spray the back of this, and it's going to turn my ordinary printer paper into a repositional sticker. And you don't want it to be permanent because you might have to pick it up and move it around to align it and everything else first. And and plus you have to take it off once the carving's done. So. Yes, Krylon Repositional Adhesive Spray. Um, that's how I transfer a lot of my patterns, is uh, by spraying, spraying it down with this on normal paper. Um, there are other ways. You, I could have printed this on a, a sheet of sticker paper or something like that. But for one-off things like this, um, this is just a quicker, easiest method uh, for me. So. Yeah, so that's the, the lettering going down the hickory handle. I'll cut that out here in just a little bit, and then I'll spray it and line it. And then uh, this is, I just rough sketched that SH uh, brand. I got two of those, and I'll also be spraying those and then sticking those on the heavy axe. And then I'll carve right through the printer paper and lay down my outlines and peel it all away and then do the detail work. So, here we go. So I'm spraying the back of my printer paper with the Easy Tack, just kind of shaking it there to dry it off a little bit. So now I'm going to apply my stencil there to the axe head, and notice how I pick it up and reposition it multiple times to get it straight and uh, in the position that I want. And then when I get it where I want it, I just kind of firmly press it down. For this part of the uh, project, I'll only be using one burr. It's a number eight carbide round. And I'm putting that in my dental drill. That's a Shofu hand piece. So I'm just carving right directly through my uh, stencil paper and right into the ax head. So I'm just laying out my outline. I'm gonna go all the way around and transfer the outline onto the ax head. Now that I got my outline engraved into the axe head and I got the printer paper all removed and out of the way, 
So now I'm going to take the same number eight round carbide and I'm going to fill in the spaces. Um, so I'm just going up and down, making little dots, slowly filling this in. Uh, it's, it's a method called stippling. So I'm just going to start here and I'm going to go and fill it all in using the stippling method. And it's, it's a little bit slow, a little bit tedious, but uh, the effect is really good on metal. It, the little dots kind of uh, catch the light and make it sparkly and kind of give it a, uh, a little bit of bling. Okay, so we got the first side engraved, so now I'm laying my pattern out on the second side. Um, notice how I'm measuring this out. I want to make sure that the uh, pattern on the opposite side matches our first side. So um, same distance from the back of the axe head, same distance from the top down. And remember using the repositional spray, you can pick it up and move it as many times you like, and you can even reapply the spray if necessary, if it loses its tack. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the whole process once I get this all aligned where I want it. Please notice here that I'm wearing safety glasses and a dust mask. Um, carving on this metal and the rust creates uh, some kind of nasty dust. You don't want to be breathing that stuff in and you don't want it in your eyes either. So yeah, safety first. Please make sure you have your mouth and your nose and your eyes covered. Okay, everyone so we've engraved both sides of our axe head um, I'm gonna stop the video here and we'll come back in a second part 
and we'll focus on carving the uh, lettering into the hickory handle here um, continue using the dental drill so yeah if you like what you see and you think you want to see more subscribe to my channel here on youtube um, also if you're curious about other stuff i do you can find me over on facebook and instagram at wolford carving so see you next time